It's the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for Monday, the 24th of September. I'm Michael Groff. A few showers and thunderstorms possible around the state today, but here in the valley, we should stay dry and temperatures remaining above average for much of the upcoming week. By this weekend and certainly into next week, quite a bit of forecast uncertainty. We'll break that down for you. First, we'll look at the almanac from yesterday. 104 degrees for the high, 78 for the low. That's well above average for late September. And outside right now here at this criminally early hour of 2.35 a.m., partly cloudy skies in the valley, 84 degrees at Sky Harbor, dew points at 45 Humidity 25%, winds are light, and the barometer is rising. Temperatures across south-central Arizona and here in the valley at this hour. 72, the cool spot at Goldfield. Upper 70s and some of the cooler spots in the north and east valley. But most of us are in the low and even middle 80s right now. Water vapor satellite view, a shortwave trough passing north of Arizona. And that's going to be the impetus for maybe just a little bit of moisture advection and a couple of showers and storms around the state today. On the watch warning map, some elevated fire danger continues out here in the west. Frost and freeze advisories in the Rockies. Fall is certainly in the air. And flood and flash flood watches in parts of Tennessee, Kentucky, and some of the adjacent states. Convective outlook for today, a marginal risk of severe storms around Nashville up toward Louisville. Here in Arizona, a couple of green patches there, so maybe a few thunderstorms around in some of the higher terrain. Here in the valley, just not expecting anything. And we see that as well on the WPC's QPF outlook. The rainfall for the next seven days. Nothing for us here in the valley, maybe around a tenth of an inch, again, in some of the higher terrain. We'll get into the details of our weather now as we explore the models. Here we go to the GFS. This is the OZ run, valid at 5 o'clock this afternoon. The upper look at about 18,000 feet. Get a trough passing north of the state, and that may pull just enough moisture and enough dynamics in here to trigger a couple of showers and thunderstorms, say, along the rim and in southeast Arizona. Some of the high-res models had tried to show a few sprinkles maybe in the valley today, so our chance of rain is not mathematically zero, but I would just go ahead and not cancel any outdoor plans today. Partly sunny skies, high temperatures upper 90s to around 100, so slightly cooler than what we saw yesterday. Tonight, clear skies, a dry westerly flow, so temperatures should cool off nicely. Upper 60s in the cool spots, upper 70s in the urban core. Tomorrow, sunny and continue dry and warm. High temperatures, upper 90s to about 102. Same thing on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And as we get to Saturday, the flow aloft beginning to turn southwestward in response to deepening low pressure off of the west coast, high pressure to the east. And so moisture beginning to get advected northward across Mexico. But we should stay dry here in the valley. High temperatures upper 90s to about 102. Sunday, look at this. We've got a tropical system now off of the Baja coast. And that's beginning to get pulled up in this southwesterly flow. The system is turning northward and ultimately more toward the north and east. And we see that as we go to a week from today. This is Monday, the 1st of October. And confidence in this solution, I'm going to tell you right now, point blank, is pretty low. But we have seen this advertised on several runs of the GFS now. It's got this tropical system, either a hurricane, maybe a tropical storm, approaching the Baja Spur by next Monday afternoon. And if this were to verify, we'd have increasing moisture here over southern Arizona. Obviously, strong winds and very heavy rain for the Mexican coast. And skies would be turning mostly cloudy. Temperatures would be cooling off probably into the low and mid-90s, and those chances of rain would be coming up. And then this is Tuesday, the 2nd of October off the GFS. Look at that. It's got whatever that system would be, maybe a tropical depression, a tropical storm moving into southwest Arizona and putting down copious amounts of rain. We'd see breezes picking up. We'd see our chances of showers and storms increasing. Obviously, again, a far-fetched solution, but there has been some consistency in this. The European does not support this exact solution, although it does support some moisture coming in here and certainly a turn toward cooler weather by early next week. And then here's the end of the forecast period. This is Wednesday, the 3rd of October. The GFS continues with a deep low along the west coast, broad southwesterly flow in here. High temperatures at or maybe below average with plenty of moisture. And look at that. The GFS has another tropical system that we'd have to watch way down there south of the Baja. And I will tell you that even though this is an outlier solution, it's not completely crazy to have a tropical system move up our way. Historically speaking, if they are going to affect us, this is the time of the year for that. Late September through early or mid-October, we have seen that. So... We'll keep this in mind. Let's take a look at the numbers through the period coming off of the GFS Ensemble. It's got highs above average for this week and then 
generally trending down toward average. And of course, if tropical moisture were to increase, we'd see these numbers coming down even more significantly. Let's hope for that. And that's going to do it for the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. My next video back here tomorrow morning. If you like our videos, be sure to subscribe so that whenever we post a brand new one, you'll get the notifications. Your comments, questions, suggestions, always encouraged as well. Be safe out there. Stay cool and have yourselves a fantastic Monday.